So, with this we have understood what is development and for that when we are talking about the qualitative uh, instruments uh, some words are coming that life expectancy at birth that is the expected life of a person which is because of the advancement of uh, medical facilities and educational consciousness we see that our life expectancy at birth has increased just on the verge of independence it was around 37 years just imagine 37 years was the life expectancy at birth whereas now it is 67.8 almost you can say 68 years so this life expectancy at birth next imr infant mortality rate we know that because of malnutrition because of uh, absence of care of the mother many children getting died before reaching age 1 so the number of children getting died before reaching age 1 that is 365 days per thousand is called infant mortality rate when we talk about mortality rate mortality rate is the number of persons died per thousand in a year but infant mortality rate the number of children died before reaching age 1 per thousand in a year next is net attendance ratio net attendance ratio the number of children aging between 6 to 10 be careful about this age group 6 to 10 who are attending school in proportion to the amount of children of that age group suppose in a village there are 100 children of that age group 6 to 10 and out of that 80 children are attending school then the net attendance ratio will be 80 is to 100 8 is to 10 like this so this is the net attendance ratio this is another parameter because we know when uh, children will be going to school they will definitely learn something and when they learn automatically they will become a good human resource for the country so this is net attendance ratio gross enrollment ratio the number of persons number of children who are entering into the different format of schools primary education secondary education and higher education okay so they are the gross enrollment ratio now body mass index bmi when we want to understand the nutritional level because unless the nutritionally uh, improved child we can have we cannot expect a better future for the country as we know that a person may be very intelligent he is educationally strong but if his health status is not strong a child who is going to school is becoming absent just because he is not physically well so many times he is becoming absent in the school and therefore his study is not going in tandem with the school development so this is very important thing so body mass index although here i must uh, tell you that body mass index is taken for the adult only but if a child is not going through proper medications proper nutritional food when he will become or she will become adult he cannot be his or her body mass index cannot be proper one what it is seen that we will take the weight in kg the weight of the person in kg and the height of that person in meter square that will be divided and the body mass index will be calculated when this body mass index will ca be calculated if it is less than 18.5 
then the person is considered to be undernourished and if it is greater than 25 the person is overweight or obese so these two are the extreme cases between that the bmi should remain so the pers person can be considered as physically fit so body mass index is giving us that index by which we can consider that the human development of the country in which direction going on after that we have to understand that public facilities what is public something which is you have to pay for that that is private and when almost nil or very reasonable amount we have to pay it is called the public property so public facilities being a member being a citizen of this country we all are enjoying certain facilities that is basic education the elementary education is incorporated to the child it is the duty and responsibility of the government we know right to education gives us that power to have free and compulsory this underline this free and compulsory education to each children sorry each child of that which age group 6 to 14 that means the actual educational year age each and every child having 6 to 14 years of age should get free and compulsory education and that is called basic education which should be imparted free of cost nowadays we know that mid day meal system is there in the government schools why so they could get the nutritional food next is basic health facilities basic health facilities the primary health care center the hospitals and the vaccinations if it will be imparted in the childhood so many diseases can be removed altogether nowadays we know that pulse polio because of continuous pulse polio immunization system the polio cases are completely out of india in this way this vaccination public health care very common diseases fever cough and cold diarrhea this kind of diseases can be cured if in the villages or in the small town the uh, um, uh, little bit of infrastructure is there so that should be provided and that should be provided free of cost or a little bit reasonable third is the law and order the safety and security of each and every individual is the job of whom is the job of the government because they are the human resource so you have to secure you have to protect the human resources the police administration police the administration the militaries they all are protecting us and last but not the least provision of pds public distribution system what we have learned in class 9th in elaborately public distribution system with the system the system in which by which we are getting the essential commodities at a very reasonable price and mostly it is reaching to the remote corner of the country through the fair price shops or the ration shops we are very much aware of this fact so these four are the public facilities what we could have in our future uh, in our life and which will make our future comfortable after all this thing we can and uh, we are almost at the verge of understanding what is human development index which is prepared by united nations development program UNDP is publishing this HDI this report is called HDR human development report this HDI comprises of three things living standards that means the per capita income what is this quantitative 
इंडेक्स सेकेंड इज हेल्थ स्टेटस लाइफ एक्सपेक्टेंसी एट बर्थ इन्फेंट मॉर्टिलिटी रेट मॉर्टिलिटी रेट फर्टिलिटी रेट एटसेट्रा दीज ऑल आर हेल्थ स्टेटस एंड एडुकेशनल लेवल लिटरेसी रेट ग्रॉस एनरोलमेंट रेशियो नेट अटेंडेंस रेशियो ऑल दिस थिंग सो दिस टू टूगेदर वी कैन से दैट इज द क्वालिटेटिव क्वालिटेटिव इंडिसेस सो जॉइनिंग टूगेदर वी कैन हैव द ह्यूमन डेवलपमेंट इंडेक्स now i hope it is clear to each and every one that why hdi is considered to be the actual index of development barring the development stated by world bank which which is based completely upon this living standard pci whose pci is high per capita income is high is considered to be uh a good uh, developed country and whose it is low they are not developed country once again i am reminding the middle east countries that uh, which is given in ncert book also qatar okay so many uh, middle east countries you can see they are high per capita income some group of people are hu having huge amenities of life but most of the people are not having the minimum the bare minimum of life okay so that cannot be considered as development because development once again comprises of three things living standard health status educational level these two are the qualitative aspects this is the this is the uh, quantitative aspects and now we are going to the end of this chapter that is the sustainable development yes my boys you may often think that yes development is needed more and more industry more and more uh, service sectors more and more agricultural uh, upgradation should be needed like the green revolution we need another revolution like the industrialization we need more and more industrialization all these are correct there is no wrong in your idea but the thing is that is today's decision of blind industrialization blind revolution in the agriculture will not hamper the uh, development of tomorrow we are now the present generation you are the second next generation for us what we do today if the fruits will not be good for you if we pollute the environment if we degrade the soil if we overuse the natural resources impractically use the resources which are meant for tomorrows which are kept for tomorrows unjudicious use of resources discriminatory use of very costly resources the day is not far i know you are in class 10 you are very much aware of this fact ki the day is not far where we are just become a spectator of our ruins and therefore this term is coined that is sustainable development the development which will not hamper the present generation and gives way for the future generation the development which is having a continuous flow in one part it when it is going on another part it should not make any kind of disaster already we are experiencing with a lot of disaster a lot of uh, pain we have done on nature lot of wastages we have made on resources and therefore we are completely at the stake of civilization being the students of economics we all know that resources are scarce and even out of this scarce resources we have made the resources more and more scanty and therefore our complete 
our future generation is completely at the uh, stake of uh, ruining. So, once again I want to say that development is needful, but not at the cost of future generation. So, there should have a symmetry, there should have a good assimilation between the stride of development with the pace of future expectations. We have to go for organic farming in the agriculture sector, we have to uh, stop multiple cropping, we have to use more and more manures instead of chemical fertilizers. In the industrial sector too, we have to take all the precautionary measures which will not reduce the uh, degradation of the environment. We will try to use those methodologies, those technologies by which the uh, pollutions will be less. So, with this I am ending my class, the total development chapter is being completed. Uh, let us see whatever questions you are having, you may uh, send those questions on the message box. Thank you.